Oh, Instagram is so sweet. It's telling my followers that I'm here doing a video. I can talk. I gotta put something on my lips because my lips feel dry. I'm gonna go ahead and put this. This is one that I'm trying to use up. Anybody ordered um, anything or bought anything from, I guess you would have to order it to buy it, uh, from Boohoo Cosmetics, Beauty, whatever it is. Do they have a beauty line anymore? That might just tell you how old this stuff is that I'm smearing all over my lips. Still smells, more or less. Uh, what's the word? What is, what is the word I'm looking for? Innocent, seamless, that's a word. Heaven Sent by Joe is here. Hi, Heaven Sent by Joe, how are you? So we're talking about stuff because we can. Do I have lots of shine on my nose? Probably. Shine on my nose. I have no idea. I have no idea what that was. <coughs> How was your Thanksgiving, Pete? Did you celebrate my birthday? I should get over that because my birthday was Tuesday and I've done a live stream since then. So I can't be sitting here and being like, my birthday was not long ago. So y'all should just be wishing me happy birthday. I, I mentioned on Wednesday, this was actually not um, a birthday that I wanted a lot of well wishes because I was struggling with it. And um, yeah, husband and I have had some, as hard as it is, this is this is a hard thing. Hi, Jamie, ja ja Jamie's, Jamie B. Selby. I Every time I read that, I have to like stop because I wanna say Jamie's belly. But that's not what it is. <laughs> Although I would say hi, Jamie's belly, too, because I'm sure that's just as fabulous as you are. Uh, Jamie B. Selby. My, my belly is pretty fabulous. What I was wearing this morning at church, the, old, the older ladies, you know, their, their eyesight is not that great. And I had this, I had this cardigan um, kind of closed. I, I had it closed. And then I there's like this much space between it and the, the jeans that I was wearing. They're high waisted, but you know, I got more belly than 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 there is high waist. Um, and so yeah, so they're like, that's that's kind of gives an illusion. Juliana 2K20 is here. Hi. Uh, we're talking, we're talking about whatever we need to talk about. Join us. Give us some some thoughts about about illusions of clothing. Anyway, so you know, they're they're pretty conservative people, um, you know, traditionally conservative as far as clothing and whatnot. They were, I mean, they're older ladies. That's what they're supposed to do. And so um, it's kind of like my mama at church, right? And so they, yeah, they were like, there's kind of an illusion going on here. And I'm the worship director. So I have to be a little bit respectable, respectable. And I was like, what's the illusion? And they're like, it's like you have a crop top on and you've got this much of your, of your belly showing. I was like, yeah, I know. So, um, ha, okay. So I, is that, okay, tell me, is that Portuguese? You're from Brazil? It looks like Portuguese to me. I'm sorry, I don't speak Portuguese. I speak Spanish, but not Portuguese. Um, me, myself, and Marie92. Welcome to all three of you, me, myself, and Marie. And 92, so I guess that's four. Um, oh, no, wait. It's not Marie and 92, so never mind. <laughs> welcome to all you and all your, your people. Sorry, I don't speak Portuguese, So, but you know, you're welcome to join anyhow and teach us some Portuguese, because I love languages. Uh, one of these days, I would love to go to Brazil, and I'd love to learn Portuguese. I had a brother-in-law down there, but then he moved. So now I haven't, don't have an excuse to go other than because it's fabulous, but tickets are expensive. Anyway, they were like, yeah, your belly, it looks like your belly's showing. I was like, oh, okay. So I opened this up so that it would be live streaming today because I'm like in the wrong, wrong impression. I'm like, oh yeah, I could. I was like, I, I got dressed kind of in the dark this morning because my husband is working six days a week now because uh, he is, uh, his job is affected of course by the holidays. So between now and Christmas, He'll be working six days a week. And um, yeah, so he's like, yeah, I'm not going to go. And I'm like, okay, that's what he just sent me a message. I'll have to answer him after this. Um, anyway, I was like, yeah, I'll have, you know, he's he's like, I'm not going to be able to make it because, you know, I have to leave and it might be too late and that sort of thing. He needed to get his rest, which I totally understand. Totally understand. And so I was cool with that completely. And he, uh, but he likes to join me in music and play the congas while I'm playing keyboard and singing. And everybody was like, where's your husband? We miss him. I'm like, yeah, I know. 
But uh, I'm like, you might not see him until after Christmas, quite honestly, because he's a super busy dude. Yeah. But um, they're really sweet. I love the people at I love the people at our church. Hi, Nan. How are you, Nan? Speaking of sweet, sweets, Nan is here. Nan is one of my favoriteest people. She won a giveaway of mine. I do still have giveaways coming up, but we're we're pinching pennies right now. So it's morning where you are still, I know, because you're on the West Coast. I had to think West Coast. I had to say we we est, right? Um anyway. Or news. N E W S, right? North, South. No. N Northeast W West South. I can't even say it. Oh, you made it. I know I'm late, but that's okay. I'm glad I, I'm glad you were able to make it even though I'm late. So, um, so anyway, after church, I had to go get some food because there's this Haitian lady that makes food. That's a good friend of ours that, um, we get food from her every once in a while. Um, she kind of has a impromptu. She's a, has a catering business that she does part-time. She's also a nurse. So you don't need to know all that stuff, but anyway, we go over there and get food from her periodically because she makes good Haitian food and my husband likes some Haitian home cooking and I won't cook Haitian food for him because your girl is not Haitian. I'm not going to compete with his mama. I'm not going to do it. Just, just nope. Uh, uh. Anyway. Yeah. So, well, I've covered a lot of topics and I feel like I haven't concluded any of them, but <coughs> this is, this is typical, right? Cause I'm Priscilla. I like to talk about things and sometimes those things don't always <laughs> coordinate, but it's okay. So yeah. Anyway, we've been talking about the whole fertility thing. Um, and just to kind of go back to that for just a second, you know, it's not a huge, not that we want to spend the whole time on it because we've got purple to talk about. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a very purple themed girl today. I got the purple, the purple. I don't have purple glasses on. I thought that would be overkill. Purple in the hair, purple on the eyes. I mean, we're doing purple. We are purpling it up. So, uh, but yeah, so we've been talking about the fertility thing and it affects, it affects guys in a whole different way. And you got to give the man who really, really, really wants children, give him a lot of credit for accepting a woman who, uh, to be his wife, who is unable to have children or probably unable. We didn't know for sure when we got married and, um, you know, but I said, I'm 40 and I haven't had. A successful pregnancy yet um had some i had three miscarriages and yeah and that's a whole different thing so anyway you got to give a guy credit but then on the other hand um it is my thing and he chose me i didn't choose pcos he chose me so um we've had those conversations and he's a he's a pretty understanding guy and he has shown himself uh to be very loyal and committed to me so i'm not Sometimes I have I have meltdowns and I'm like, ah! but you know that's because that's because we're all insecure. Underneath we're all insecure. We try to be secure, but underneath we're all insecure. That's the way it goes. <sighs> so yeah, I said uh, hi. My name is Priscilla. I like to talk about things. For example, I like to talk about Daniel's Armando Seven. Uh, <laughs> I'm just I, I'm just, I'm just kidding. You just showed up. So I wanted to say hi. Welcome. Um, but yeah, I want, we're going to talk about purple because we got some purple stuff going on. What is on my eyes? Well, I'm glad you asked. Um, I love slash hate this palette. I don't hate it, but I do really, really love it. And, but I also have some issues with it. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I got first. I'm going to show you the most recent palette that I've used. Uh, and then I have one more to use this month and then I will be doing Wednesday. That would make it Wednesday, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yes, it will. That I will be doing the rundown of all the palettes, but I do think I will also two looks, uh, overview. So I get rid of that cause I don't need that. This is the palette that's on my eyes right now. This is kind of the quintessential purple palette for so for so many people that have purple uh palettes or that love purple palettes this is the one that they go to it is the performance on this is fantastic so this is from uh, menagerie cosmetics <coughs> and it's called the flight club palette i think it came out last year and i got it on a restock along with the annette's makeup corner those are the only two i got right yes um 
but I wanted this for a long time because look at those purples. They're gorgeous. And this is true purples. There are some like pinkish colors, but really any look you do with this is going to turn purple unless you do all matte because the pinker tones, except for after dark, um, but I'll show you this in a second. This is actually still purple, but the pinker tones are all mattes. Uh, this is a matte. These are mattes. And then, of course, you've got more of a purple and a, then a definite purple. And then you've got two neutrals here. Um, this one here looks like it's going to be a uh, rosy sort of um, more of a berry, but it's actually a duochrome. So it shifts from lavender to that berry color. And it is gorgeous. But yeah, I didn't expect that when I put that on the eyeballs. You can see it definitely shifts purple. So even when I use this, does not matter what you use in here, you're going to get a very purple look. Here's my issue with this palette. Now, like I said, the um, Cute Myself 123 is here. That's a cute name. Hi, Cute Myself 123. How are you? We're looking at purple palettes because they're cute. And I like purple, in case you didn't notice. Uh, and so, yeah, this is... Uh, a fantastic performing palette. The mattes blend beautifully. The shimmers are performed beautifully. I put this look on at six o'clock this morning. This is from this palette, by the way, just so you can see. It's what I've used for the last three days, and I will be posting those shortly. I make up all of my glasses, but not from the eyes. Um, and so, um, yeah, the, it just performs super well. If you want a solid purple, look that is just stunning this is a great palette here's my issue and you might have already seen it these are all really much in the same level of depth there's nothing super light here this is the lightest one let me look at that though oh that's like a periwinkle right uh, I do not have on all shimmers but because my eyes are really hooded so Nen asked if I had on all shimmers I don't but my eyes are really hooded. So once I put shimmers on, I blink a couple times and you can basically, um, there's, there's mattes over here, but it then basically looks all shimmery because it transfers. But I use the AOA Studio Tacky Base and that keeps it from creasing. I have no problem with creasing or anything. And it's funny because um, that was actually a conversation that was happening in a in an exchange that I was in and one of the women was like I hate my hooded eyes I want to get have surgery on them and I was like first of all if you have money to spend on surgery for something so temporary hi miss charlie how are you good to see you um but yeah she was like you know I want to I want to do surgery on them like if you have that much I, I you know I'm I'd like to say I'm not one to judge, but that's actually false. We are all ones to judge. We try to say we're not, but we actually are. These are the two lighter ones. So you can see they're quite different, right? This is more of a warm tone and this is definitely a blue cool tone. Um, but yeah, so she said, you know, well, I'm, you know, I, I want to have surgery on my eyes. And I'm like, why on such an, a small part of your, your features, um, favole makeup, I don't know if that's how you say it, but uh, welcome anyhow. And Okef Isaac is with us. So welcome. Um, yeah. So she said she want to do surgery and, you know, you can do whatever you want because it's your face and it's your body. And, you know, I, I'm all about the ability to make bad decisions. <laughs> I can still tell you it's, I think it's a bad decision. And I think it's a bad decision for several reasons. <clears throat> First, I think it's a bad decision because you're spending money on something that is going to deteriorate. Why spend money on, I mean, it's like if you have a car from, you know, okay, I was born in 1975, right? If I, well, then this is different because cars turn classic. People don't turn classic and you can't preserve them. They're going to get older, right? So getting ready to start dinner. What are you cooking? What are you cooking, Miss Charlie? Anyway, we'll come back to that when we answer. Um, Right. It, and, and that's the thing is people put a lot of money into plastic surgery. And it's not even that it's so small. It's that it's going to deteriorate. None of us are immune to aging. None of us. Um, and even if we do preserve ourselves, we're going to die. 
So do you want to be sitting there in a casket broke, but you have like your face like all stuck because of the Botox and everything else? Oh, wait, it's got to be. Because everybody has those artificially big lips, right? Which I also think is unattractive. And I know you can disagree with me just like I can disagree with you. I think lip fillers are ugly. I said it. I still love you. If you have lip fillers, you are still my friend. NS Khan is here. Welcome. What do you think about lip fillers? Um, <laughs> I think they're ugly. I think what I can see when you have lip fillers. I can tell when they're lip fillers and when they're not. And it's not an improvement. I have never seen anybody where it's actually an improvement to have lip fillers. All right, here's the shimmers, right? Beautiful shimmers. The issue with that that I have with these shimmers in this palette, I know I'm I'm, ramb I'm rambling, but you know that's how it works because it's me. Um, they're all you see these are all the same depth. These two are really similar. They're all the same depth. You've got two light ones and you've got three medium ones. Um, yeah, I don't like lip fillers. I think they're. I don't see the point of them. And people say, well, you've already got big lips. You know, you got full lips. Okay, fine. That, that's fine. But they are aging and they're, you know, they're getting lines and this and that and deflating or whatever. I don't know what you call it with lips. You know, I don't care. Even if they turn flat and, and you know, they end up being like this. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. That's me. That's just, that's the way it is. Uh, this is, uh, let's see. This one is a dual chrome. Uh, okay, you know, now we can't see it very well. I had it on uh, this one. Yeah, this one is has a shift for sure. But this one shifts. Let me see if I could put it on my finger and get it to shift. There you go. That's this this reddish one. It looks so red here. I'm not getting the shift. But on my finger, you can see that it shifts lavender to that reddish color. So that's... Um, you know, that's really pretty. And then also this kind of has a bit of a shift to it as well, this lighter one here. So there are some shifts. They're, they're very beautiful colors. My only issue with this palette, only issue is it lacks depth. Um, I, I'm okay with having these two neutrals. In fact, this one I really like. This one is actually pretty good for blending out. And when you have purples, I mean, getting purple mattes to blend um, hi, the budget vanity. Welcome to our party where we're talking about purple and other things like lip fillers and the fact that I don't really like them, but you do you. Um, yeah, I'm still smacking my, my, my tongue against my, I don't know. I picked that up from somebody. I never used to do it and it's, and it's annoying and I wish I would stop, but I haven't so far. I need to put a rubber band around my, around my wrist and snap it every time I do that. Anyway, or one of you needs like a remote control zapper that like electrocutes me, gives me an electric zap every time I do that. Uh, anyway, so I wish there was, what I would love to have is like a deep plum or a deep um, like uh, uh, aubergine or what, what's the eggplant, sort of that sort of purple I think would have been great. Even like a grayish purple would have been nice. And then something really light would have been nice. Um, yeah. They're really, really, really pretty. It's just, you get very similar looks from this. Every look I've done is absolutely stunning and gorgeous. Uh, and I love this palette. But I do think that it could have used a little more depth. That's just all the shimmers. They're really nice though. So who's tried this? Anybody else have this palette? I know other people have this palette, but. Oh, good news. I don't have rehearsal today for my niece's wedding. I've complained about that in the past. Everybody's sick, so I'm happy they're all sick. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people that aren't feeling well, so. <clears throat> Me, I'm still coughing out. You know, it's been since July. You guys know. I sit here and hack up hairballs on my hair. They're not hairballs. Um, R.D. Meaton. Already meeting. and I don't know. I, I don't know how to say that, but welcome anyhow, because even if I can't say your name correctly, we still love you. You can feel free to correct me and tell me what it is. So that is what's on my eye. That's what I just used. I have been having fun, especially this month, because I said, you know what, this is my birth month. And that means I get to wear all of the palettes that I have been most excited about wearing and not doing as much systematically, which means no repeats, which is kind of fun. 
Menagerie, I, Menagerie is an excellent brand. I have this one and I have um, the, stop it, Crystal, stop smacking. Uh, I have this one. Now, it's funny because even if you guys didn't notice it before, now you all, all are going to notice every time I go, <laughs> but you probably noticed it. Uh, the Annette's Makeup Corner one, hers is fantastic because it has all the depth and it has all the color and stuff like that. So, and your girl ordered her Odin's Eye. So you'll see, I, I really wanted to pick up some more of the five, five pan or six pan, the long skinny ones. Oh, those are split pans in the middle. So I think it's actually six colors and then you can mix the one in the middle. So good. Oh, if you not have, if you have not tried Odin's eye, try them, but do not try anything before. Well, in my opinion, don't try anything before the Norns palette, because that's when they, that palette is exceptional. That's definitely my top 10. And I got a lot of palettes. I got a lot of palettes. One of these days I'll give you guys a tour. If I can figure out how to do it with the computer. Everything's right here though, so I could probably just, if I do it right, I could probably pull it out. Um, but yeah, Odin's Eye is spectacular, but Menagerie, Menagerie, not Menagerie, uh, is great. And they also do singles, so if there's certain colors, and I would actually recommend that. If you don't mind, I would love to have a palette though, so I'm definitely partial to that. Um, I like everything in a palette. I'm going to answer you in just a second, Nen. I saw your question. But I would say if you're going to, if you just want certain ones, this is a good one to get because it has a little bit more depth to it. And then the one of these, that's more of a dual chromey. I think, I think it's hanging out. I think this is the one that was a more dual chromey one. And then uh, Nocturnal, I really like this one because it's more of a cool and it has a little bit of a shift. But these two are pretty different. As far as the shimmers, um, the if you want a good purple matte, these purple mattes are really nice. But again, I wish that there was a darker one. I know purple mattes are hard to do. And so that's why it can be really tempting to go this direction, the pink direction, instead of the cool tone purple. So kudos for them for doing this one. This is a really nice one. But I understand why they gave us rosy purples and then gave us more cool tones in the shimmers because that's just easier to do right it's a challenge. So I would rather they give us stuff that works. And then, I mean, it's all there. You see what's in the palette. It's not like it's a surprise to you. And, uh, and then we just go with that. I, I think that's better than to give us a dark color just because we need a dark color, but then it's a dark color that doesn't work. And unfortunately some places do that. What is my favorite top palette? She didn't say favorite. She said top. So that is what Nen just asked me. Um, I, I have, I think, I think that my top palette is not a palette, but three palettes, I think. And that's a Sydney Gray's Temptalia collab. I believe that those ones would be at my top. I, I love it. I think the, the color stories are spectacular. Pick the color story that you love, but for me, they're all one palette. They, they really belong together. And they're just kind of different feelings of the same idea. So they definitely were, you know, they're very different when you, when you use them. You look at them and you're like, oh, those are similar. In fact, that's why they kind of got, some people were like, mm, yeah, I don't know. Because when it came out, first of all, they showed all of the palettes and there's two different versions. There's a, there's the deep and there's the light <coughs> version. I got the deep version on them. Let me show you those ones. I've got one here because, oh, uh, let's see. I've got two here. The other one I have not used yet. So, I mean, I haven't used it in looks yet. Let me see if I can find it. Put up here. There it is. Okay. So these are the, those palettes. The two that I've used already are this one. Let me read the name. This is on the horizon. So they, they're cute. If you haven't seen these before, they go together and make a picture, which is why they really are set. You know, they're, they're one palette in my opinion. Um, so I'll show you these. Sexy Lover joined. Hi, Sexy Lover. 
welcome. Uh, I had to say it like that. I just had to. So this one is a little bit more deep and more jewel toned, um, more of a um, kind of a wintry sort of palette to me. These shimmers are fantastic. Uh, my issue with this, and it's not an issue, it's a very small, because you can so easily substitute, um, but that's, they're, the mattes are less exciting than the shimmers. But I think that's fine because the whole point is that this is for kind of a shimmer lover. And um, so this is a matte. These two are mattes and this one is a matte. This color is just, this teal blue green color is just gorgeous. And I like the creativity, like this taupey gray. Uh, actually, it's not taupey. It's just a gray. And then you've got this like tan color. It's not a bone color, which is great. And then a black, which is fantastic. So, I mean, this is so beautiful. And those shimmers are to die for so unique. Uh, the next one is, oh, wait, sorry. This one was... Uh, quintessence or quintessence uh this one is on the horizon i i told you on the horizon and then i put them in order and realized that wasn't the order this is uh on the horizon and this is to me more of a spring sort of or or even fall because you've got almost these orangey colors the greens in here and then these midnight blues are just gorgeous and just a pink pop here <coughs> um really really beautiful but this one's a little bit on the lighter side you've got uh this one that's kind of a it's a very unique it's not just a a beige shimmer it's more of a almost gray taupe and then this one is more of it's kind of a taupe too but more on the brown side so these are just really beautiful as well and the this green is a matte this is a matte uh, this is a matte, the brown here, and it's kind of a reddish brown. And then this one, this darker brown here. Um, those are two are a little bit similar, but stunning, absolutely stunning. I have no complaints with any of these, except there's just not, a, I want more colors. I, I mean, I just want more of it. This is the brightest, out thereist, sort of, can I say out thereist? Uh, to me, this is more summery than the other ones. Uh, Go Gosia Wessel uh, 72 joined. Hi, welcome. And top, top, Topanga, Topanga 1961 joined. Um, I sometimes I, I kick out of mispronouncing your names and then I realize, oh, I shouldn't do that just in case it's somebody's actual real name and I said something bad in their um, native language or something. <laughs> but I know that oftentimes we put, we just make funny names or whatever. Uh, this is just a beautiful, beautiful palette. So you have this like orangey terracotta color here, which is just really pretty. And then there's this, uh, this is a purple. It looks a little bit more red on the screen, I think. Um, on IG, it looks more red, but on um, YouTube, it looks closer to the color. So it's more of a mauve purple. And then this green is this almost true green but it's a little bit just on the teal it's got a little bit of blue in it as well uh and this one only has the three mats the other ones have four mats each so this is definitely to me more of a summery one and that's the one i have not i've used it but not in a three looks thing so i that's in my in my stack of stuff to do these two will be uh, at some point, I'll re be redoing them. Actually, I want to show you this one, too, since it's, I just noticed it's here. This is from Menagerie, the purple palette I just showed you. This is Annette's Makeup Corner Serenity palette. So this is the same company as this. In case you don't know that, I know most people realize that, but some people don't uh, if they're new around here. This one came shipped a little bit, but that wasn't a huge deal. Not a huge amount of depth here as far as getting it, you know, really dark and deep, but that's okay because you can very easily add a black to that <coughs> to make that happen with any of them. But the range of colors is just stunning. This is a beautiful palette. I love the color story. I love the greens and the purples, obviously. And then, of course, the splashes of orange and yellow, pinks, blues, all that make it all fantastic. 
So those are really good. That one I would say is probably in one of my top 10. And it's not as much the color story as it is just the performance. I would probably put Menagerie as a brand as one of my very top. I don't know that they have yet come out with a palette that is such a perfect color story for me as the Sydney Grace. Because even though I love purple, I'm not huge on monochromatic. So yeah, and they're, they really do a great job with their design. Look at how beautiful this little bat is. He is so cute. Even if you don't like bats, he's just adorable. Look at him, which is your little chubby cheeks. Oh, I want to snuggle him. Anybody snuggled a bat before? They're really cute. It's like squirrels. I was looking at a squirrel and I was like, basically he's the glorified rat, but he's so cute and fluffy and fat. Everybody loves fluffy and fat until it comes to humans. What's wrong with that? Anyway, oh, let's change the subject for a second because I can, because it's my show, dang it. Yeah, he's cute. I really can't wait to see what Menagerie comes up with next. Uh, have they announced something for the beginning of the year? I feel like there was something that said there was a sneak peek, but maybe that wasn't Menagerie. Maybe that's somebody else. There's not a whole lot I've seen lately that's really exciting to me. I've got a couple of things that I've kind of tentatively added onto my want list. Uh, hi, Zainub Lang. Z Zainub? Zainub? Tell me how to say your name. Help me. I want to say your name correctly so I can correctly say hello to you. It's kind of like when we saw, um, what was the, damn pandas, damn pandas joined us before. And I was like, how do you say that? And then I said, damn pandas. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Uh, yeah. So, um, I was talking about something important and then I forgot. Oh, what did I get? Yeah. Or what am I getting or what's on my wish list basically? Uh, there's not a lot of new stuff that's gone on there. There's some older stuff that I still want to get. And I definitely want the Sydney Grace uh, um, uh, Mel Thompson collab. I hope that stays up for a while. I it, I have I can't justify another Sydney Grace purchase for a while. I can't justify another, another purchase. I am thinking of doing a very low buy December and or January. And it might even extend a little bit further depending on where we are because I got to pay for for doctoral classes and all that stuff too. So Zainab, not noob, but Zay is fine. Okay. Um, yes, not not Zainub, Zainub. Okay, cool. Hi, Zay. Good to see you and meet you and hang out with us. Let us know what you think. But yeah, there's not a lot of ton, ton of stuff that I'm like, ooh, I need this. So I've I've spent some money. And so now I'm like, okay, now we can just kind of relax. I got to start paying for my doctoral classes again, starting in January. I need to get through my doctorate. Very important. So that's priority, not new pretty makeup stuff. Eve is here. Eve Thessaloniki. Are you actually from Thessaloniki? Or do you just, is there another reason that you have that? Because I would love to go there. I think that would be so cool to go in that part of the world and visit and say, Hey Eve, what's up? Uh, yeah. So, uh, not a lot of, not a lot of new things that I'm super excited about, but that might change in the beginning of the year. Uh, I smacked my teeth again, my, my, yeah, my tongue against my teeth again, guys. Got to slap myself when I do that. Self-abuse. Ah, welcome Eve. What, what time is it over in Thessaloniki? I know my shadow matching my hair. Look at that. I'm doing all purple. This has been the last few days it's done this because I've been using this palette, which we just talked about. If you ladies don't have that, it's a very nice palette, but you got to like purple because you're going to have purple looks every time you do it. 73 key king is here. I'm trying to figure out how, how many syllables are key king. Yes. Is here. Okay. We got gotcha. you. Oh, thanks. On my skin, uh, nothing special. Just my skin. It's just, I use oils. I have talked to you guys. Oh, 2158. Okay, so you're at like almost 10 o'clock. Um, it's not even as loud as others who do so loud. Loud, you mean color? Are you talking about color, Nen? I don't know. Um, yeah, cool. All right. I love when people from around the world join us. It makes me so happy. I love, I love the world. 
I do. I love people. I love culture. I'm, I'm apparently, I don't like those earrings. I am obsessed with culture. Actually, it's one of the big things that I'm, that I enjoy very much. I tend to pick up things with my toes when I drop them because I just don't have a lot of, a lot of space to reach. So there we go. That's what we do. Um, it's beautiful. Oh my, wait, what was beautiful? I have to go back and see. She said something is beautiful. Okay. Soft. Oh, my skin or my, my, my hair or my skin. I don't know. Are you talking about something completely different? I don't know, but thank you. <laughs> uh, what did I buy for black Friday? No, not necessarily. You did not necessarily miss because I have one thing I'm going to show you. And then I might just do like a collective haul. Uh, the sound I make with my mouth is soft. Very sweet. It's funny. I used to work at McDonald's way back in the day. And I was like, welcome to McDonald's. How may I help you? And people said, you should be on the radio. <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually a voice student and I am a trained opera singer and a vocalist. I smacked my, my teeth again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, eyeshadow. Oh yes. I love this eyeshadow. It's very cute. This is the palette. If you haven't seen it yet, go look it up. It's a beautiful palette beautiful performance. I just would like it to be a little bit lighter and a little bit darker, but what it is, is fantastic. Okay. So this was off the subject of eyeshadow for just a second because I can. So here in the United States, for those of you that are here in the United States, if you have a CVS near you, <clears throat> make sure you sign up for their emails and their little card thing. CVS is, is on the expensive side, in my opinion. But sometimes I got some pretty cool stuff. And also they regularly send me text messages that say, get 40% off one item. So you can basically go in there and buy any one item for 40% off. And that's a pretty good deal. So if you need makeup or anything from there. And so I went to look at the makeup aisle and I was uh, accosted. We're going to call it, we're going to go with that word. <coughs> I was emotionally accosted by their jewelry section. Oh, look how cute this is. I'm going to try to get this as close as I can. You see the blue? You see the little flicks of blue? Look how cute that is. I don't know if you can see it on YouTube. Okay. Well, IG can see it. Uh, Celine Bilal is with us. Welcome. We're looking at these cute earrings. So my niece is having a wedding in a couple of weeks, and I am going. And I'm also singing and playing. And... Uh, the colors are blue and red and she insists we've all got a match. So I was supposed, I was assigned to wear blue, but then I found this really, really cute jumpsuit from Lane Bryant. And then it went on sale for 50% off. And I told my husband, you should buy that for me for my birthday. And so he did. And uh, so that should show up pretty soon, but it's this adorable silver uh, jumpsuit. It's really cute. It's really sexy. It's really hot. I'm going to have to shave one armpit, but you know, whatever, <laughs> but not my legs because it's a jumpsuit, darn it. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, uh, that's on its way to us and it's going to be adorable, but I saw these and I thought these would be so cute because it's, it kind of goes across like this and there's not, I was looking at necklaces and it wouldn't really work with a necklace because that would take away from the from the, uh, cause it's a one sleeve and then off the just cute. So I thought these would look really cute with it. And I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair as far as how I'll wear it. Uh, I might do up or partly up or something, but I also am probably going to add some blue to my hair so I can coordinate with this. And then, and then, so my mom bought me a present for my birthday. She got me a sewing machine and I'm really excited because one of the ladies in my church gave me a sewing machine, but I can't get the bobbin to to uh, um, fill the bottom bob bobbin to fill. There's only there's only a bottom bob bobbin, but anyway. And so um, she, my mom gave me a new one, so I'm really excited because I'm thinking with this this one has a the jumpsuit has a um, wide waistband, and so I'm thinking that I can if I find blue shoes. Blue shoes. Oh no, that's blue moon. Uh, blue suede shoes. No, I don't want blue suede shoes. Why is everything a song? I don't know because I'm a mus musician, I guess. So if I find some cute blue shoes and I'm probably going to go to the same place that my red little, um, kitten 
heel shoes, right? Uh, came from. Uh, I'll see if I can get a bargain because I got those for five bucks and they're adorable and cute, but they're red. But if I can't find blue, I'm going to go red. Anyway, if I can find some cute blue pumps that are comfortable that I can wear for a whole wedding while I'm standing and playing keyboard and all that kind of junk, then I will buy them. And then I will go to the fabric store because I've got a sewing machine and I'll get some pleather material that matches probably, probably pleather. I think that'll be the easiest. And I'll make an OB belt. Is that what they call it? Right. The one that's like all fabric and it goes from fat to thin and you wrap it around and knot it. Right. Like a leathery sort of thing. And then I can also do a little clutch and make like a little faux leather clutch that'll match and it'll be so cute. What just happened? My light just went off. Why did my light just go off? All right. <laughs> I'm like, what in the world? I was thinking, you know, I had flashbacks to Haiti when we had blackouts all the time. And I was like, we just had a blackout. I'm like, no, wait. And I literally, that's what happened. Oh, there's a blackout. And then I was like, oh, wait, no. I'm in the United States. Blackouts don't usually happen here. <laughs> Good evening, beautiful lady. You too. I'm sorry. I was I was telling my story and I forgot. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully I can make that and it'll be blue. And then I'm going to put some, I think I'll put navy in the top a little bit. And then I'm going to do some little, a couple bits of brighter blue down here. Just because then it'll work with the purple, the blues in the, into the purple. And yeah, we'll see. I don't want to do too much with my hair too soon because I just did some treatments and it's, it's a little bit in rebellion. It's a little crunchy on the bottom. So I've been doing oils. By the way, don't remember who said, but somebody said my skin looks great. Oil. One of these days, I'm going to get people to get on board with me and I'm going to start doing like the 30 day oil, all oil face challenge, where the only thing you use on your face is oil. You don't use a cleanser. You don't use, a, well, okay. I, I guess I would say if you have dry skin, you're probably going to have to use a moisturizer because oil is not moisture and moisture is not oil. But there's ways you can get around with that, around that too. So anyway, but I thought these were so cute. Anyway, I got the 40% off coupon at CVS. And so I got these 40% off of $16.99. So I paid like 10 bucks for them. Cute. Oil. What oil? It doesn't matter. Use any oil. You're a, you're in the, you're in the, um, the arid areas of like the grease that whole area, you should have like tons of olive oil, right? Olive oil can be good, but it can be a little bit thick. The ones that I like the most are, uh, I love Moringa oil, which is probably really easy for you to get, I would think, because they should grow easily in your, in your region. Um, also I like hemp oil is really good. Uh, grapeseed oil. Another thing you should be able to get really easily. Grapeseed oil is really good. Sunflower seed oil is something that I've used. Um, argon oil. I think that's also from your region. So yeah, take natural oils, carrier oils, put that on. I use it to remove everything. I do not use a cleanser for my face ever, ever, ever. I have discovered this is actually what ages us is using cleansers. Stop using cleansers. This dries out your face. It's going to age you. I promise it will. Um, the double cleanse method, really bad idea. Okay. They just are doing that because they want to sell you more products. So they're like double cleanse. It'll make your skin fantastic. No, it won't stop. <laughs> they go and take people who already have flawless skin and use them to advertise it. Not yeah, bad idea. And instead just take a carrier oil. It can be literally this is the most recent one, one I got. So this is from Flaxseed. This is supposed to be refriger refrigerated. I should probably do that. Um, anyway, and you just put a few drops. I put like five pumps in my, I have a little pump thing that I put it in. And I just put that in my hand and I take it, put it right over my eyes. It melts off the makeup. Um, I take one swipe above and below on the skin, above and below. And then with my eyelashes, I just flick through my eyelashes without rubbing my skin so that I get rid of all of the, <laughs> excuse me, all of the mascara, but usually I rub it off first anyhow, so that it's, I mean, I'll look like a raccoon because it's all over my face, the black, that's okay. And then just wipe it all down. I use hot water when possible 
So I just use hot tap water. I put the towel over my face, let it steam my face, and then I take the stuff off. And then I do it again, hot water. I flip the thing over to the other side that's clean, and then I use that to get the rest of it. That's all it. That's that's all we need. Yeah, you guys produce olive oil, right? Um, only bio wheat oil. Okay. Yeah, it works fantastic. Uh, I don't know what bio wheat oil is. Is that just from wheat? Is it just like pressed? Is it cold pressed? I don't know. I have, I think that cold press is generally better because it doesn't change the chemical makeup of it. So makeup one underscore one one join. Hi, welcome. Uh, we're talking about how to have beautiful skin when you are 47 years old. 46. What did I say? 47, 46 years old. <laughs> I'm aging myself even more than I have to, but yeah. Um, and that's it. And then I then put oil back on. I do not dry my face either because you need that moisture. So what I do is I use the oil to lock it in. So I don't use any cleansers, nothing. I don't dry my face. I immediately put oils that have essential oils with them. And you can choose any essential oils that work for you. Some that are great for anti-aging if you want to use that. Ylang Ylang is really good. Carrot seed oil is really good too, but that's actually an essential, or sorry, a, a carrier oil because it's press, pressed seeds. Essential oils usually are oils that are, are uh, harvested for their scent. That's their essence. Um, so they're a little bit stronger because they're, they're scented. But then you have some that are in the, in between too, like neem oil is technically a carrier oil, but it's strongly scented. So, and it also can be a little bit strong. It can be irritating if you get it too much in the eye. So be careful about that. You have to test everything and see, but use something that's super mild around the eyes uh, and then use your carrier oils. And I just put it all over the face, all down the neck. And then I also take it and put it up my arm and put it up my other arm. So, I mean, I, I put it all over my chest and everything. I use it on my legs, the carrier oils, because they're cheap. I mean, just get, you can literally go to the grocery aisle here in the U.S. You can go to the grocery aisle. I have gotten, in fact, I might have it here, grapeseed oil. So that's not what's in here. <laughs> I use it for something else. But you can literally just get a thing of grapeseed oil. If you use food quality, it's been more refined. And so uh, it's not going to have as many good properties, but it's not going to be harmful for you. It's just that it's been more refined. So some of the, the stuff that's in it, some of the good stuff is just, you know, not there. So the more refined something is the less it's going to have it's like vitamins and minerals and that sort of thing in it. Um, yeah. And that's, that's all I use. I have, it has grown my eyebrows. Uh, if, I mean, if people look back and they see my eyebrows, of course, I'm not really plucking them either. But I don't do much with my eyebrows. This is mostly natural, and I just fill in a little bit uh, to frame and so that it's more defined on the top, basically. I've only recently started doing that. And then my eyelashes are, I don't use lashes at all. I don't use artificial lashes. And this is this growth that I you can kind of see on my lashes. And I don't curl them either because I don't really, they don't stay, so I don't care. <laughs> but they've grown like immensely because of that. Uh, I have no problem with acne, even though I have PCOS and I used to have really bad cystic acne and I have a lot of pores because of that. I mean, a lot of crevices and uh, not pores, but crevices. And so I have no problem with acne ever since I started the oil because removing oil is actually what gives you acne. They won't tell you that because they want to sell you prescriptions and creams and cleansers and all this crap that's actually going to make it worse. It's all about marketing, guys. Stop believing the people who are making money off of selling you stuff. Just telling you, I'm not selling you anything. I said go to the grocery store and get some grapeseed oil and put that on your face. It works perfectly. Um, or go, you know, go and buy more, um, more natural stuff. But yeah, there's some really good, uh, rose oil is really good. Uh, also rose hip seed oil. That is a, a set, um, a, carrier oil. You just have to kind of know the difference between them. But usually it means if it's scented, it's going to be not always. If it's scented like perfumey, uh, then it's if it's natural, as long as it's not chemical, um, then it's going to be a <coughs> um, essential oil. And if it doesn't really have much of a scent, then it's going to be 
basically a pressed oil, a cold pressed oil, which is from, uh, which is a carrier oil. Don't use any, ref uh, any like refined oils or heat produced oils. Those are not going, uh, except, except for essential oils. Some essential oils have to be steam, um, extracted. PSI Rita, uh, Toshino is here. Welcome. So, all right. I have notifications coming through. Um, all right. We're going to talk about the first thing that I got from Black Friday that I actually received. This was, this is one of the two things that I, that I planned on buying on the, like the, I was actually looking maybe at getting at Sephora. I didn't get it at Sephora because that sale was pathetic. Unless you've got, unless you get the the 20%, but even the 20% is really nothing. So wait until, I mean, for me, if you really want something, go to the, the site of the actual brand because they're going to get better sales, especially for Black Friday. And that's what I did. Here you go. Look at this beauty. Did we talk about purple today? Okay, I'm going to just show you these two side by side just so you can ooh and ah. And then we're going to make up some comparisons and think, oops, think about which one would be better. Think about what you've done. There is a lot of similarities between these. There's also differences. So the big thing with this big one, so this is, of course, the Norvina from ABH. Anastasia Beverly Hills. Look at that. You can see up my nose right here. Isn't that cool? In the mirror. Look at that. Ah. Um, <laughs> I'm so weird. <laughs> but I can see if my nose is clean. Um, yeah. Sometimes when I take pictures of me doing the mascara comparisons and I go like this and I, and I do this, and I'm like, I hope I don't have like one of these days I have like snot up there and then don't notice that that would be, that would be awkward. Uh, anyway, you guys don't need to know all this stuff about me, but yet you're here and you love me. Okay. I have not used this. I just got it this last week. Here's the first thing that I can tell you. It's much more neutral than this one, except that it's not really because this one's just, well, okay, maybe it is. This one of course has many more colors. So this is the ABH Norvina five that came out a few few months ago and when i saw it i said that is my norvina i also have the two which is the orange one around here somewhere um so there's a lot of similarities here this one is a lot more warm toned this one has a little bit more cool tone to it um, but this one is more warm tone warm tones are a little bit easier to make with purples i do believe because the pinks are easier pinks and yellows and that sort of thing are easier so that's why this might be going that way. There's also a lot of these that are kind of a plummy, kind of berryish, sort of almost neutrals, but not quite. Um, <coughs> you have two very light tones. One is a shimmer and one is a matte. There's no super, super dark, but this one goes pretty dark. That's a matte. And then this one is pretty good, and that's a shimmer. So there's more depth in the ABH one. Now I'm curious because I want, I have not swatched this. I stuck my finger in D2. Oh, also one other thing that's kind of, kind of nice. Um, and KK5, no, KCAT, Kate. Oh, KK5 is with us. Hi, KK5, how are you? Uh, so Miss Charlie said, my Black Friday stuff won't be in four weeks. Ordering from indie brands, the wait is long. Yeah, so I did Odin's Eye and I did... Uh, I do have my, my froggy palette coming from Pout and Shout. She already sent it out and, but I, you know, that she, she's a, a small brand and so she doesn't send, um, do like the tracking and that sort of thing. Cause that's super expensive. Uh, when you're, when you're small, 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 small brand, but she's fantastic. And I can't wait to get it just because the palette's so cute. And then if it works out and it's a great palette, which it probably will be because she has a really good quality as well, then that's even better. But I just wanted it for the fun, the fun packaging because it's great. Giant wolves from Odin's Eye. Oh, I'm so sorry. I got mine um, and I almost went back and ordered because I got giant giant wolves and I got um, uh, hummingbird. And then I got one of the ones, I got the two-sided ones from the, the uh, Freya collection. Uh, and then I was like, maybe I should go back and get that red dragon one too. Cause I know they're going to be discontinued. 
But I was like, you know, that's neutral enough. I don't need it. I have seen some gorgeous looks out of that though. And that green, oh, be still my soul. But I said, Priscilla, I said to myself, because that's my name. So I called myself my name. And I said, you don't need it. And I controlled myself. Yay! Okay, so um, I'm goofy, guys, in case you didn't notice that. Uh, I also am tired. I'm not usually, I haven't been as tired because I've been taking the one that starts with an M that I told you guys. It's in the bathroom because I take it before I go to bed. Uh, lucky girl. I know. I'm so sorry that I got it and you did not, but the one thing, the one that I have not gotten that I will never be able to get apparently ever again is the Tati. I wanted to get that one. It was there. I almost ordered it a couple times and then I didn't. And now there's no more Tati beauty, <laughs> but I am willing to bet she will rebrand herself it, I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense for her not to, because that was such a wildly popular palette. I think she just closed everything out. So, I mean, I wasn't, I don't think it was her choice. It was probably a court order that everything can be closed out, that she no longer used that name because of the thing. And then they have to settle like, you know, who gets what and that sort of thing. Um, from what the lawsuit, I don't know the details of the lawsuit, but I know there's a lawsuit pending because of that. Uh, but she... Yeah, that palette was just beautiful, and I missed out. So I feel sad. But there are some that I got, so I'm okay. This is just beautiful. This is one you don't have to hurry to get, but if you, uh, right now, I think the Black Friday sale is still on. Get it if you can, um, because it's gorgeous. I also like the fact that there are some not purples in here. So I can go further with this than the other one. Uh, Gabe Davina took half my check. Also Tara Moon's JD Glow Lethal. I did not get anything from any of those. It got a Viseart palette for $15 in the Boxy Charm sale. Was that the Petit Pro 3? I think I, I think I saw that in the Boxy Charm. I closed, I, I stopped Boxy Charm, so I only have uh, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and the X right now. Yes, it's a pity, although I did not want to support her anymore. Who are we not supporting? Oh, Tati? You know what? Support who you want to support. I mean, I, I'm all about not supporting the people that you don't agree with, but there's a whole lot of people that I don't agree with that I still will support because I'm not going to them for spiritual or political advice. If somebody is like a political commentator and I disagree with them, I might not watch them. Although I actually do. I actually go to the people I don't agree with because that's how I know what I really believe. And it's how I make my own position stronger. You have to have that contrast. People went that way with Ofra and it irritated the crap out of me, first of all, because that whole thing was completely fabricated. There was no racism, absolutely no racism. And whether or not they voted for Trump, it doesn't matter. That totally has no bearing on the, on the makeup they make. And the fact that people think manufacturers need to be like moral guides is kind of ridiculous. Like, I don't even understand. That's my opinion. I do think if people are using slave labor, you got an issue. And the problem is if something's made in the PRC, I got to check and see because a lot of my stuff is, I'm, I'm not, where does, where is this made? Distributed by, made in the P, the RP, the RPC. So yes, this is possibly made by slave labor because you know what? China uses slave labor on the regular. They do. We know that. It's a fact. Yet we keep buying from them. Slave. I'm not talking about like, well, they're just, you know, it's, it's sweatshops and stuff like that. No, 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 no. We're talking about actual slavery. People are actually in concentration camps being forced into labor. It, ha it, it is happening currently in China. It is a fact, okay? I mean, you can do the research. It is an absolute fact. It has been well-established, well-documented, and we know that they are doing it. 
yet we still buy stuff from stuff from them and we don't know what's actually being manufactured or what parts are being manufactured from China, but we keep buying stuff from China. I am doing it too. Did you not see? I just demonstrated that this was manufactured in the People's Republic of China. And which is ironic because it's not the people's anything. It's the government's anyway. Um, Tati. I like Tati. I do like Tati. I think that Tati was sucked into some stuff. I think Tati has gotten a lot of haterism. And it's really interesting because I've seen people leave notes on her, like leave comments. They are totally trying to ride her They're for, for their own followers. They're trying to get their own followers from her. But then they talk crap about her. Takes me off. Like either either hate her and don't watch her and don't have anything to do with her, which some people do, and I respect that. If you don't like her, you don't have to watch her. But then to sit there and talk crap about her and then turn around and be like, oh my goodness, Tati, I just love your videos. And you're just uh -huh, because they want to be like at the top of her thing. Ugh, so annoying. So annoying. But you know what? I think she's very naive. And I am telling you, I, I've already said this on this channel. James Charles. That boy was a mess from the beginning. And I said that back and that I was like, Tati, what are you doing with this kid? Like, he shows, I mean, he, first of all, he's a kid. He shouldn't have all this power and influence. He shouldn't. Stop making children influencers. Stop it. Stop making children superstars. Uh, have we not seen what it has done? Literally every child that has been a superstar is so messed up. <laughs> So messed up. Okay, I would say that the one that is least messed up is probably, off the top of my head, Justin Bieber. That's because he found Jesus. But so did Tati. Okay. <laughs> and some people are mad at her, too. I saw that on the comments. They're like, oh, I can just teach her on religious. I'm not interested in watching her anymore. I'm like, that literally probably saved her life and her marriage. So, you know, you don't have to like it, but just saying and she has mentioned that anyway back to the purple palette okay what somebody okay be, between me smacking my mouth because for some reason i picked up that habit and me uh talking about politics somebody needs to zap me <laughs> i you know hey we need to talk about politics people say polite people don't talk about politics or religion that's complete nonsense because those are actually the only two topics that change the world think about it the only two topics that actually make a difference in this world are politics and religion because they're really the only things that actually change anything. Just saying, just saying. You don't have to agree, but, I, but I'm right. <laughs> I did not attack you or Tati. It is only because I lost a hundred. Oh, well, it, hey, you know what? And that is totally you. No, I'm not. I, I don't think you attacked me or Tati. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about other people. Um, a hundred euro from ha Halo. I don't know anything about Halo. And personally, I think most of that stuff is kind of like, mm, you know, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I've never been interested in that. I take supplements for PCOS, but they're, I buy cheap stuff. So I couldn't even find her customer service. I do not speak about her as a person because, yeah. Well, and that's the thing is I only have opinions of her and based on what she's done, I haven't given her palette. Not so much good things. Of, uh, I mean, I haven't heard much at all about from Halo. So, but I won't use it anyhow. Yeah, nice palettes. Exactly. You know, it's it's kind of funny because when she came back, everybody wanted to discuss, and I was just like, you know, I was happy to have her back because, um, honestly, the beauty world was getting boring, and it, she mother hen the whole thing for a while, and she also, I think, maybe did some damage just because she got too involved personally with people, but with the people that she shouldn't have gotten involved with and endorsed people that she really wanted to see them do well, I think, but she was naive. I think she was just naive. Honestly, I don't think, I don't think anything she did was, you know, because she was uh, a bad person. I think she just was naive. Here's the first, uh, this is row one. So the way this is set up, this Norvina palette, um, I'm trying to do this so you don't see my messy house. So you've got row one, two, three, four, five, and then you got A, B, C, D, E. So it's like paint plain battle battleship, right? I didn't swatch that. Well, let me go ahead and swatch this top mat. Ooh, that's nicely pigmented. I'll just throw that at the top. So this is a really nice matte white 
Highlight. Look at that. That's pigmented. Okay. All right. Are we going to swatch this whole thing? I don't have enough arm for that. I got a lot of arm, but I don't know if I have enough arm for that. There's a lot of colors in here. Um, there's 25. These are really pretty, though. This color. Ooh, look at that silvery color. <gasps> Uh, I would not have let JC in my house, let alone my like. <clears throat> yep. It was funny. One of, once upon a time when I, I think I watched like three videos of his, but the other one, what's his name? Jeffrey, right? That dude. Uh, oh man, he's, and he had some kid on his show. And this was like, I think I had watched like two videos of his. He had a kid on his show and he was like, the kid was like, we are so real. Oh, no, no, no. And he said, actually, he's like, I just stay away from the drama. I don't have any drama. I was like, dude, I can like see right now. You are a drama magnet. Anybody who has to talk about like how they stay away from drama. It's because they don't. <laughs> but yeah, um, JC and we're not talking about Jesus Christ. I mean, I saw it as a problem from day one. And and to be fair, because I am always and forever de devil's advocate, he was too young. That, that's just simply what it was. He had too much power and too much money way too early in his life. He shouldn't have. Um, you, can't, you can't keep that from happening because influencer life is the life. Uh, and people are starting really young. And you can't blame them because that's what, you know, it's so easy now. But um, the volume... E? What's volume E? I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, it's so easy now to, to become an influencer because you don't really need anything. Look how pretty that is. That's the first two rows. This is a pressed glitter right here. But it's really beautiful. It doesn't have a lot of stickiness. Oh, I missed the bottom one. Let me get the bottom one in there. I agree. JS or JC, all people who were friends with all those people. Yeah, it... it and it, you know, it's one of those things. I was just watching the whole thing blow apart. I was in Haiti at the time. And I was like, what in the world? Like, people, you know, come on, people. Manny or Laura. Um, and Laura, I liked watching her. She's funny. She's admittedly funny. I don't know what her thing was other than, you know, apparently she used some language people didn't appreciate or something. I don't know the details of it because I didn't watch that. And I haven't watched her that much to know. I don't know about Manny. I think there was some racial stuff there too. But again, sometimes people put racial stuff where it's not really. So, I mean, I could get in trouble for some racial stuff. And anyone who knows me knows that I am an anti-racist, as anti-racist as you can possibly be. Because I invest my entire life into empowering all people, but particularly um, those that are less and less advantage. And then when I say, I mean, less advantage, what, what even does that mean any, anymore? But when I say empowering, I mean, doing everything to actually give them power. I don't want to hand somebody something. I want them to be able to have the ability to get it themselves. And I will do everything I can to make sure that that happens. I don't just say, pull yourself up by your bootstraps, but I actually will show you <laughs> and how to make a business selling the bootstraps to other people, <laughs> right? Because, I mean, that's that's where you got to be. That's why I went to Haiti. That's why I, um, that's why I do what I do. So, Hassan is here. Welcome. We're talking about makeup. I hope you enjoy that. Um, Manny is annoying to me. Um, yeah, I think I've watched him once or twice. I was just like, mm. that's how I am with, you know, honestly, with most of the boys of beauty. That's how I am. There's just, it's just too much. And some of the girls too. There's certain, and honestly, I will tell you, I'm a little bit superficial and maybe hypocrite because there's certain people that I can't watch just because I can't listen to them. And I might be one of those people for some people. I probably am. Manny is annoying to me. I used to watch Laura. JC is also annoying. Yeah, most of the boys, it's just like, it's so over the top and fake. I don't know. Is I can't say fake because it's not me. I'm going to try to do this so I can get them centered better. Because my, my arm turns and then when I put them down, this is not going to be pretty pretty uh, 
swatching, but I just want you guys to see this. Even though I know some of you have seen it already, but it was all popular a few months ago and people have forgotten about it. And I want to remind you. So this is most of row three. And I'm going from top to bottom. Um, Moni uh, Bling is here and welcome. We're talking, we're, we're basically talking drama. I don't usually do drama. This is not a drama channel. I don't usually talk about other people because I don't need to. Um, but I was talking about Tati's um, palette and then somebody said they wouldn't give her money. And I assumed falsely that it was because of people taking sides in the drama. It wasn't. It was because of a personal customer service thing. So that was that was me jumping to conclusions. But we're still talking about drama because we can. And it's kind of fun sometimes. Although it sucks. By the way, that is coffee. I am drinking coffee at... 2 30 in the afternoon all right so let's get that last one from the e or sorry from the three row and then i'm just going to start on four so this is the last one. Oh, look at that color Ooh, wow you're right miss charlie said it is what it is and she is so incredibly right um you know what they do them we watch them or not it's all good there's certain people that are really popular right now. I find to be so incredibly fake and such opportunists. And yet people are like, oh my goodness, XYZ is such a wonderful, great person. And I just see there's one person in particular that is, you know, has been really popular. I maybe, maybe less popular, but maybe it's also because I'm not watching as many of their videos. Because like I said, I'll watch people even. I'll subscribe. I like to subscribe to small channels, but then sometimes the ones that I've subscribed to have gotten big. And so they end up being bigger um, <clears throat> for what she is. But uh, yeah, certain, certain people uh, that I watch, they're, they're, they annoy me, but I watch them anyhow. Ask me why. Do I know why? Probably not. One, two, three, one. Okay. So I'm on C4 and D4. Oh, sorry, D4 and E4. Oh, yeah. I have this on a side, so I'm not reading them very well. Um, this is a kind of a nice mustard yellow. I like how that goes. Um, and I'm swatching, if you're wondering, I am swatching, if you're just coming in, I'm swatching the Norvina 5. And I'm hoping that I have space. And also, I have not shaved my arms or done anything else to remove hair for quite a while. So I have lots of little hairs sticking up. Not so little hairs, because... One of the things with PCOS is we have a lot of bad body hair. But I did find, here's a trick if you've got PCOS. I did find, see, once it gets here, I feel like it's starting to get really repetitive. Do we not feel that this is really repetitive? I mean, there's some really special shades like this one and this one. Some of these shimmers are really great. But then I'm like, I feel like they ran out of ideas a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Small YouTube channels. I don't have time to watch YouTube channels anymore. I realize I have such a backed up playlist but the ones that i like oh man angels on broomsticks they're amazing angels on Broom broomsticks who watches them they're amazing they're incredible mother daughter daughter duo from canada so stinking cute and i love their style and i i just love them especially christine who's mom mom is awesome i mean evangelina's cool too but you know they're and they have cute dogs even though I'm more of a big dog person, but you know, anybody who brings their dogs and cats on, on their channel is, has got to be a, a great person. My dog, she, she went to bed. Um, LJZR2677 is here. Uh, welcome. And I love, uh, Nikki Raven. She's my girl. She's so awesome. She's the, opposite of me in many ways, but she's also incredibly similar to me in many ways. So yeah, she's, I don't know. I, I feel like, I feel like we would either get along really well in person or we really wouldn't get along really well in person. But the fact that she and who's the one from Israel. Oh my goodness. Why did I forget her name? Who I also love who does the head wraps and everything and these incredibly like crazy stuff. Uh, who, what's her name? And she has seven kids. Come on. You guys know who I'm talking about. 
I can't think of her name though, but she's so, 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 I, I feel like I'm trying to remember her name. And I, I mean, I, I feel like her name is right there, but it's, it's not. Um, anyway, she's fantastic and amazing and she's really good friends with Nikki. So if you don't know who she is, check out Nikki's channel and you'll eventually see mention of her, even though I can't remember her name because I suck at this because I'm old. See, that's how dark it gets. And I do like that. So let me see if I can do this. Um, but yeah, so there are some of these small channels that I really think are great. All right, there we go. So there's the whole thing. I think it could have more depth also. Uh, and I think that some of these get a, get a little bit repetitive. I don't know how you, how you fix that though. And I actually, I'm actually not mad at it because the, the mats really go, they go from this rose, this E2 rose, which is really nice. It looks more pink on IG. It's not this pink. <coughs> this really white, beautiful white. Um, then there's this like, I'm all, it, it's like a plum. This one's pretty similar though. So I don't know that both of those were necessary. Although C5 is a little bit more of a brown and this one's a little bit, I feel like they could have gone a little bit darker with this and that would have made this one make more sense. Then you've got some like these two, like D4 and D5. Those are going to look really similar on the eye. They're a little bit more different in person than they look here. This one is a really nice different color. So that's great. This one is also nice because it's a cool tone which is different. Leora, thank you. Oh my goodness. Leora. Yes. Leora is the one from Israel. She's fantastic. She's so cute. There's things that she says that I'm just like, mm, okay. Um, but she, it's funny. It, it's, it's funny slash not funny. She gets into some borderline, uh, body shaming things because she has dealt with, um, eating disorders herself and she's coming from a different angle of it. Um, but she'll say things like, I was really, 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 really overweight. And then, you know, she weighed at her really, really, really overweight. She weighed less than what I do right now. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I just removed these because I hate the idea that they're going to get onto my clothes. And I'm wearing white pants. So I really would like to not have purple smeared all over my white pants. But yeah, so this is a great palette. I think I'm going to really enjoy it. And I think I can come up with different looks. That'll be really fun. I think that the versatility of this palette is quite a bit better than this one. But I think that the quality of this really can't be beat. I, it's, it seems like the purple shimmers. Well, there's there aren't really purple shimmers in here. These are mostly purple mattes. These are purple shimmers. Let me show you again so you can see them compared. So the shimmers in here are the purples. The shimmers in here are neutrals, silvers. Um, this is like, you know, that's almost, it's a pink berry sort of thing. This is like a bluish grayish sort of purpley. So yeah, hi, Bulletproof. Bulletproof's here. Um, FRM Scratch K Styles K21 are here. Welcome. Um, and then this one's a purple. But other than that, everything else is you got this like pinky, orangey sort of one. And then, of course, you've got this. This is the glitter. And then there's some really light ones and stuff like that, too. So this is like the frosty white. So yeah. I think it's a great palette. And actually, I could see these two working really well together. I don't usually use palettes together. So now let's look at some of the other palettes that I've used this month that are also purple because I decided, hey, since it's a purple themed, I'm going to rank these and all the other ones that I've used this month um, in Wednesday's video. So you get to see them. But this one, this is such an ugly, I, it's dirty, it's messy because of me because I used it very aggressively apparently. And this one cracked and I reset it, but now it has a big like cavern in it. I don't know. So this one is from Glam Shop Poland. It's one of the palettes that I bought from them. I love this palette. To me, if they had 
done something like this. Let me show you. This is what I mean. The quality here is not as good as the quality here, as far as the mats, especially. especially. Um, I think that, that Menagerie mats are better. However, do you see how light these two mats are? And then how dark and deep this one is, and even this one? Uh, I wish they would have done something like this in this palette. And even something like this or this one in this palette. That would have made a big difference for me. Um, this reddish color is kind of similar to this reddish color here, even though this one looks purple on the screen, but in person it looks a lot similar to that. This is more of a, a glitter, the Annette one. And then Queen, this is another one that's like, um, it's a super frosty one, but it does have a flip of a lavender in it. Um, yeah, that's the thing. They're, they're, they're soft and so they break. Um, so Eve said she wishes that they would be more hard pressed, but they are soft, which is why I had to do some repressing here. This one's super soft. And every time I poke into you, you can see, see all that texture forming in that, in that light one, because every time I push the brush into it, it just sinks down. Um, and then this one here, that's what happened when I repressed it. I got that kind of chunky hole in it. So, uh, but I think this color story fantastic. So I wish that they had done more of that. And if they had, this probably would have been among my absolute favorite. I do also agree because of course I love green that they should have put this green in here. It's in, it's in the front of it. Why didn't they? I don't know, but that's okay. I'll forgive them. It would have been great to have like, you know, this color, um, in a shimmer and even like this, this yellow would have been nice to have. They didn't have any of that, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, for me, these three palettes together might partially give me the best purple palette, except there's one more. Where'd it go? I don't know where it is. Let me see if I can find it real quick. So the one that I can't get enough of as far as purple palettes I think it's in here somewhere. Let me see if I can find it in the middle somewhere. Is from Juvia's Place. No, nope, that's not it. And it is the Lilacs palette. Who knows the Lilacs palettes? It's in here somewhere, I promise. I'm not making it up. I do have it. Um, the Lilacs palette from Juvia's Place. That palette blows me away every single time. Every look I make out of that, I love. And the reason I like it is because it is more on the cool tone because I am a pink child. And so when I tend to go on the warm tone, everything turns pink on me. So it looks more pink. That's why I like the fact that these are more blue toned. <coughs> um, but that one is really light, grayish, lavender, really not a hint of um, rosy at all. So I love that palette. It's, it is around here somewhere. I just don't know where. One of these days I'll just do like all purple, like comparing all my purple palettes, but I need to try more of them because some of them I haven't even tried. In fact, these ones, other than, I mean, I'm, this one I haven't used yet clearly, but the other four that I'm showing you, cause I'll show you two more here real quickly. Um, I'm just trying them for the first time this month. So yeah, that's why I need to do a no buy, low buy because there's a whole bunch of palettes I have not tried yet. Uh, Mrs. Orlano 12 joined. Welcome. We're talking about palettes. Okay. I'm going to talk to you about two that in my opinion, do the same effect. They're not the same color scheme. So, uh, we don't need to go there, but they are the same effect. Now we've talked about Tom Ford before. I grabbed this one because I can, you're not the boss of me. All because people said that it's one of the best purple palettes. And I said, well, if it's one of the best, then clearly I need it because I like purple and I like palettes. So I grabbed this one, Daydream. This is a tester. No, that does not mean it's stolen. No, that does not mean it's used. That means that it's a tester because if you go into Sephora, what's set out there is actually given to them by the manufacturer. And the manufacturer does a write-off for producing these ones as testers, which means they can't be sold or they're not supposed to be sold by the retailer. 
But then what happens is places like Sephora or Macy's or whatever, when they no longer show these on their, um, on their showroom, for example, this one is not uh, available to buy in store at Sephora, at least as far as I've seen. So when they no longer carry that particular one, all of those testers have to be discarded. And they're usually given away to employees or uh, loyal customers or whatnot, but they're given away. And then those people sell them on Macari in different places. And that's where I got this one. Long story, even longer. Um, but this is a pretty palette. That's all I got to say. It's a pretty palette. Uh, Juvia's Place is better. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. There's no mats in here. And I... They're, they turn satin, which is okay, but mats just help to balance things. Um, they really do it in a, in a look, especially if you're older and or if you've got hooded eyes. I think that really helps. I know people have said use the brushes slash sponge tips that come with them and wet them, which I will try that next time I use this one. Um, moderately, I mean, it's a, it's a good palette. Is it worth the um, new price tag? Absolutely not, in my opinion. You do you, boo. I don't care. But I will tell you what is worth it. Four bucks. And this guy, fight me. Fight me. Performs as well. The shimmers in this perform as well as the shimmers in this. Who wants to fight me? I dare you. I dare you. I'm going to swatch the shimmers. In the essence, oops, that's residual from something else. Let me clean that off. All right, so let me put these on my hand. I've got so much stuff going on here that you can't even see what I'm doing because I feel like I've got like sparkles and stuff like that. All right, that. All right, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Now, you could disagree with me because this is a free country, and even though it's my channel, and I can be like, you're wrong because I am the dictator of this channel. Just kidding. Even if I could be a dictator, I don't think I would just because it's too much work. Like, I don't even like being the boss of myself. Why do I want to be a boss of somebody else? <laughs> do, 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 do. All right. Do you see? Do you see? My husband sent me another message because I ignored his first one because I was talking to you guys. I'm going to blame you guys. He's going to be like, who are those people you're talking to? My friends. I'm talking to my friends. I'm cleaning my fingers again so I don't accidentally touch my pants and get smudges all over. Look at this. Essence. Tom Ford. Can you just explain to me? Can you explain to me why this one is a $4 palette and this one is a 70 or whatever? I don't, I don't know how many, I don't know if it's 70, but I think so. Isn't it like $60? At least $40. No, I think it is because I think, I feel like, anyway, it's a lot of money. This is a lot of stinking money. This is more than 10 times what this is. This is $4. This is more than 40. Can you explain? Can you explain? Anybody care to explain? Mr. Ford, I'd like to talk to you because we have something to talk about. Look at this. And do you see, like, look how much more of these glow and they just have so much more life. These are like, hey, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you, you look in the palette, that's pretty. This is, this contrast is pretty. You don't get that from the actual colors. Who are these, who are these people out here talking about this is one of the best purple palettes? It's okay. It's okay. But if you want to save a whole lot of quaint, you don't even got to tell them it's not Tom Ford. And you got mats in here. You got three mats and three shimmers. So you can have more fun. And this one is like, you know, kind of a little pinkish sort of thing. You got the gray and then you've got the bone color, which nobody needs. But all of these have that bone color, but it's it's a $4 palette. I'm not going to complain about the bone color. The green one is fantastic. This one is really good. 
I have the looks for this one up. I have the looks for this one up. You go ahead and look at those looks. Look at the looks. Tell me. Tell me. Just tell me. Tom Ford, you got some questions. You, you, got, you got to answer some questions. The funny thing is, too, they look so different. The color stories look so different here. All right, this looks so much more plummy and more mobby. This one looks more true purple. Nah, -uh, no, no. Look, it's the same, same stinking color story. Same color story, All right? Except this has more depth than this. This is like, eh. And where is that bright purple? Do you, what is the bright purple? Do you see this? It almost doesn't even show up. This is, this is this. Okay, okay, let me, let me. I don't want to do Tom Ford wrong, even though I think, I think, I think he's overrated. Perfumes to, oh, no, you know what? I can't say it. Black Orchid and uh, Velvet Orchid, th those are pretty astonishing. But, all right, I built it up. I built it up. I want to show you that I'm not, I'm not faking it. You see? Even built up. That's a second layer. Built up. This is better. You can't tell me it's not. You can't tell me it's not. This is the bright purple. Does that look bright purple to you? No, honey, it does not look bright purple to you. <sighs> Who wants to defend Tom Ford to me? I dare you. Come at me with that. Come at me with that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, if you love Tom Ford, you do you. But let's just let's just say what it is. You like the name. My husband does too. I want to get. I, every once in a while, he goes through this thing where he's like, "I want Creed Aventus perfume." No, you don't. First of all, I know you don't want to pay three hundred dollars for perfume. <clears throat> Secondly, you don't even like what it smells like. Yeah, I do. You've never smelled it. Well, my friend said it smells good. <coughs> I've literally got him samples, and he doesn't like it. He'll smell it and be like, mm, yeah, I don't really like that one. Like, that's Aventus. No, it's not. It's fake. He'll, he'll tell me it's fake. <coughs> Boy, you need to trust me. I know what I'm talking about. <coughs> when it comes to perfume, <coughs> I know something. Uh, now he's calling me. I should answer him. He's going to think I'm dead. All right. <coughs> He's calling me a messenger, and I can't do anything about it right now because if I do, I think I get rid of you guys. Oh, no, he stopped. He's gone. All right, we're back. I'm going to drink some of this because it's... <coughs> but I'm telling you, right now I'm going to tell you, you don't need this. You need this. Because now this might look pretty on your, on your, you know, it's pretty. It's cute. It's pretty. It might look pretty. This one is going to look a lot prettier in your checkbook and in your bank statement and on your eyes. Go ahead. Look at the comparisons. Look at what I did. Because you all know I use these and I want them. If I'm going to spend this much money on this palette, plus, why do they do this? Why do they give these like shiny things that you know, as soon as you touch it, that's what it's going to look it looks like I'd make cookies. Like I mixed cookies up on this. Hubby's calling me, man. All right. Let me just be like, let me just let him know. Oh, he's going to, okay. Let me, let me talk to him. Oh, never mind. Tom Ford is generally so underwhelming and so overpriced. Yeah, I'm telling you. He really wants to talk to me. Let me see if I can get him. I'm going to see if I can get him here with you guys. Love. Yes, what's up? Hey, I'm doing a video. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. That's okay. I'll call you back. No. Okay. The people that I'm seeing you, they said you are not going to send me. So yeah, I know, because I was doing a video. Okay, I love uh, you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, now I gotta see. Are we back? Are we back? Are we good? Okay. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm doing a video. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I forgot. I forgot. Yeah, this whole schedule mess up is, is different. He's usually he's he's pretty good when I do videos. He's like, oh, cool. But he just forgets when I when my schedule is. So, I mean, he he knows Sunday afternoon is my video. 
but that's when he's here and he's hanging out and then he goes in the room and chillaxes there for a while so guys that's what i've got purple palettes what do you need for a purple palette man you need this one it's not purple purple but it's mauve and it it's not going to give you this look anywhere close to this look but it's going to give you a really pretty everyday more friendly to people that don't like this sort of thing now let me let me tell you one way to use this to wear this sort of thing is to wear glasses because you see the difference if i didn't have glasses on it would be like hello purple eyes but since i have glasses on the glasses kind of frame it and it all works together whatever plus i have purple hair so clearly i don't really care about going a little extra um not worth it this is a great palette but yeah they are really soft and i would say the shimmers in here are not as great um as some of the other ones are i mean they're really good but i think that some of their other shimmers are better um funny reaction videos today Ooh, you know i'm i keep trying to get my husband on mine he won't do it he has allowed me to do like um do swatches on because our skin is so different he has this gorgeous chocolate skin and i've got like um peaches and vanilla sort of skin and so i would thought i thought that would be a fun juxtaposition to swatch some of these especially something like this because i think I, I can really see that like benefiting um different skin tones to see how these actually react i'm, I'm thinking some of the, the shimmers especially because they're so nicely pigmented and also the advantage is this doesn't just show what it looks like on different skin tones but it can show you what it looks like with different bases so if you have a white base versus if you have a dark base uh, or a light base versus dark base. And so um, one of these days we might do that, but he's, uh, he's a little um, careful about putting his face on social media. And also he's a little careful about the English language because he's still, he's still acquiring it. So uh, he's, he feels a little, a little funky about that. So anyway, but yeah, I am really annoyed at this packaging. Just saying. When they have that and you like you literally you can't clean those out like okay use the booby for what it was meant to be which is to polish polish shiny objects right okay there it is hi everybody you see me there we are all right see all the scratches show up on it right this thing you still can't polish off and then i just touch it one and there we go it's it's just stop with it guys stop when you're doing high-end stuff this shiny case doesn't number seven does it too and i love number seven but those shiny reflective packaging not fun the opposite yeah the opposite uh you and your hubby or you and me opposite i don't know um i would definitely say the norvina palette is a fantastic deal and i i think that's really probably if you need purple in your life that that might be the only purple palette you need but <laughs> yours has problems with the english and he's white you know what a lot of times that happens, right? I mean, not that white is English speaking by nature, but if he, assuming he's a white American and he has problems with English, yes, he, there, I, I know a lot of them. <coughs> All different colored Americans that have problems with English, right? Um, it's, it's funny because sometimes I talk to my husband and he's like, I don't even understand what they said and they're American. I was like, that's just sometimes Americans don't know how to speak their own language. Um, this is a great palette if you need something, if you want these kinds of looks. Great. I also recommend very much the, uh, the um, Juvia's Place. And I think this is a beautiful palette, but I would say the other two are better, even though I do like the depth of this one. But this is kind of, to me, this is this color story should have been this but then this should have been this quality maybe i like them both uh i just this is a little more dry i would say that's these the um mats are a little bit more dry that's it he's a briar briar i'm thinking the only thing i can think of is briar patch isn't that where peter cottontail lived in a briar patch What's a briar? <laughs> That's literally all I know. I'm not sure what a briar is. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Those are my purple palettes. Um, what did I get for, uh, I'll, I'll try to give you a rundown. So I got this Norvina palette. I got, I'm trying to think, that's why I'm looking off into the distance. A couple of Juvia's Place. So I've got a Juvia's Place order coming in. 
two of the last palettes that I need. In fact, the, I now have all of the palettes that are currently, um, oh, country. Okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know that was a word for country. So apparently it means country. It means like hillbilly. Only hillbilly is like supposed to be racist now, isn't it? I don't know. So Briar will eventually be racist too. I don't know. Everything's going to be country is going to American is going to be racist. <laughs> Uh, he is going to be white is definitely racist. <laughs> oh, we got to be all sensitive about everything. That's ridiculous. Um, so Juvia's place is coming. I have my Odin's eye coming. I have my pout and shout coming. I have my P Louise coming. I have two orders from Oh, no, I have one. I have another order coming from Ulta because the other, the one, the Juvia's Place products I'm getting are from Ulta. Uh, did you see the pic of the shed I sent you? I did not. I saw you sent me some stuff, but I didn't get a chance to look at it because I was driving when I saw the notification. I was like, yeah, probably shouldn't be surfing IG at this time. So, <laughs> But I did see you sent me some stuff. I'll take a look at it. Um, I think that's it. Oh, and then my jumpsuit for the wedding. I will try to model that and like style it. And if I can manage to make my little, my clutch and my belt and find the shoes to match, honey, I will be showing that. What should I do with my hair guys? I don't use styling tools or anything with my hair. I don't know if I should do it up or if I should do it partially up or maybe I should just curl the bottom. I don't use a curler, so I'll have to borrow one. Um, oh, the he shed. I think maybe I did see that. Uh, yeah, I have to double check and see. I think I did see that. Um, and then I'm thinking I'm going to add some blue so that it'll match the rest of it. And then I'll be wearing these. I mean, you got to take the advantage when your friends get friends and family get married. Use that as an opportunity to go all out and buy stuff. You're like I got to I've got to, to coordinate with everybody. Makiyake 2021 love is joining us. Welcome. I think that's all I got uh, from Ulta. I got a, I ordered a bunch of mascara because I had a bunch of mascara on sale, and most of it I didn't already have, and so I basically ordered all the ones that had four and a half stars because I want to compare them. And of course, I have the ones that I most recently got. These will be going in my basket, which, by the way. I think maybe next Sunday I'll show the basket because so this basket, um, desde España. Hola, como estas? Uh, so this is my basket from, um, what month is this? November. <laughs> I forgot what month we're in. And so I'll be switching that out with a December, um, basket and i think i'll be probably putting a couple of these in i might just do these two but also i do want to try the rare beauty a little bit more so uh see yo puedo hacer un poquito más o menos uh we will be getting a bonus at work some more spending for me oh i'm so jealous uh yo no entiendo inglés okay pues uh tú puedes um on Google, Google Translate, <laughs> Google Translate. Um, that's what I use actually when my husband and I were first talking and I didn't really speak any Creole and he didn't speak very much English, even less than he does now. So yeah. Oh, gracias, gracias. Um, all right. So maquillaje said she likes every, the whole look that I have. So Yay. So I like when we have different languages, but I don't speak Portuguese. So sorry, I can't do that, but I can do it with Creole and I can do it with Spanish. Uh, those are the only languages that I'm, I am conversational in. So <clears throat> not fluent, but conversational. So yeah, so I'll be putting these in and then I'll make up that basket and that'll probably show, um, next Sunday. So Wednesday, we're going to be doing the roundup of the palettes. Some of the stuff here is stuff that I'm going to be doing for December because I'm starting to move those palettes in and then I'll do the, the ranking of all of the palettes that I've used for November. 
letting you know my opinions. I will include some of the ones here, not the Norvina, because that one I'm not using yet. And then I will be doing a full face with the Norvina. And then, yeah, the next Sunday we'll go through the basket. Sound good? I love having you guys with me. It's so much fun. That's why I don't miss these because it's so, I, I can't miss you guys because I will be sad forever. Uh, that would be fun to do a live together on the project pan for December. Now my project pan, I thought that it was never going to come along, but then I am suddenly starting to use a lot of stuff out. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of new stuff in there. So that'd be kind of a fun time to do that. Uh, and I'm showing some, some, uh, empties and whatnot periodically too. So as they're coming through, so yeah, that would be fun. Uh, I'm, I'm up for collabs. If you guys want to do any collabs, let me know. Cause when I can, I will do that. But right now. Your girl's got to go study because I got a whole bunch of assignments to do. And I've got three weeks less of left, 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 left of class. And um, I'm also tired. So maybe I'll take a nap between assignments. I don't know. We'll see. I also need to get some food. I haven't eaten anything yet today. Probably should do that. Put yours together for January of uh, your project pan. Mine is, I just do a rolling project pan. So I have my basket, which is my like monthly basket but that's not a project pan basket but if that's what you're talking about we could do that uh, and that's just to use products but then the other basket the one on this side so this is the monthly one this one over here is the one that's actually project pan sorry i'm pointing in relation to to ig so if it's youtube this is my monthly basket and this is my project pan basket um the project pan that just stays in there and i'm just trying to use those up so and then I usually alternate. So one day I'll use my monthly basket. The other day I use Project Pan, et cetera. And uh, so that I don't get bored because I get bored easily. If you didn't notice, I also get distracted. Bleh, squirrel. See you in the next one. Wednesday, eight o'clock-ish. Bye.